I'm Emma and I'm Miss America 2022 and my platform as Miss America is actually Special Olympics. Of course, uh, my whole family has been involved with Special Olympics since I was about six or seven years old. When Brendan first became an athlete, and what was the first sport that you did with Special Olympics? Track and field. Track and gonna field. guess that. Our mother is a special education teacher here at Service High School in Alaska. At the time, Service, actually there weren't any schools in the state of Alaska that had become Special Olympics Unified Champion Schools. And that was kind of my mission. And so I worked with Special Olympics Alaska and we submitted Service High School to become a National Unified Champion Banner School. And we were fortunate enough to be the first high school in Alaska to receive that recognition as well as being named one of the top 20 schools in the nation by ESPN for inclusion. There is definitely a family legacy here. I love my sister and my brother. Yeah, so actually there was one year when all three of us were at service at the same time, and that was the year that I was president of Partners Clubs. It's really wonderful that I have the opportunity as Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell that the relationship is strong. Now that you have this new role as Miss America, people have misunderstandings of, you know, students with disabilities, people with disabilities, adults. Even what Special Olympics is, based on just what we see, we make assumptions and we think of what they can't do or what they right. shouldn't do, mm -hmm. when really, Brendan and Emma, you have both proven the things that you can do regardless of what titles you may have. Because right. really, the core values of Special Olympics and Unified Champions Schools should be everywhere, exactly. not just in the walls. I completely agree. <laughs>